All right, good morning, everyone. Namaste and welcome to Yoga with Faith in the morning, or morning yoga with faith. Uh, we are going to be working on a chair practice this morning, and you'll need a chair, and that's it. So make sure the chair is sturdy when you uh, potentially lean on any of the sides. It's not going to tip on you. So what we're going to do is start seated, and uh, please be mindful if there's any movements that don't suit you, modify them or skip them. Have uh, any questions, you're welcome to put them in the comments in uh, the YouTube video here, and uh, I'll answer them and hopefully help you have an enjoyable chair practice. So um, let's start with the feet on the floor. I'm gonna take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. So keep going. Feel the air. Move down into the belly. Not just the upper chest. Move it down into the belly. One more time. All right, so shoulder rolls here. Up and down, little circles. Start to move left ear, left shoulder as you continue the shoulder rolls. So stretching that right side of the neck out. Keep the shoulder rolls going, tuck the chin down in the chest. And then over to the right, right ear, right shoulder. Keep rolling the shoulders. Good, Show, let's bring the chin to the chest, relax the shoulders. Interlacing all the fingers. And then push the palms away, lengthen the arms and press the spine towards the back of the chair. Chin tucks down. On the inhale, hands come to the chair behind you and then puff the chest up, look up, little back bend here. And then exhale, round the spine, interlace the fingers, press the palms away, lengthen the arms. Inhale, hold on to the chair, push the chest up, lift the gaze up, little back bend. One more time, exhale, push the palms away, interlace the fingers, lengthen the arms, round the spine towards the back of the chair. Good, coming back to a neutral spine. So we're gonna bring right knee in, cross it over that left knee. Just let that right knee drop. You don't have to push, just let it drop. So take your inhale, long spine. Then on the exhale, we're gonna hinge from the hips, coming forward. So you can hold on to the chair or your leg. Just feeling that stretch in the hip on that right side. Good, from here, Hold on to your foot. So you're gonna come across the top and around the outside of that foot. And see if you can lift it off. Maybe a little rock side to side. Maybe you bring it out a little bit further. So holding onto the outer set edge, the right hand, and bringing it out to the side, pulling your knee out to the side. Good. Maybe you lengthen the leg a little bit in the front, straight ahead of you. Keep the knee bent a little bit here. Good, release that foot, pull the left knee in, left ankle over top the right knee. So again, let that knee drop gently. And then again, hinging from the hips, coming forward, forward folding over that left leg. So make sure you're not rounding the spine, shoulders are dropping, chin's dropping. Keep that spine nice and long. So that might mean you don't go down as low, but that's okay. Still just wanna feel a stretch in the hip. Good, coming back up. So taking that left hand around the top outside of that left foot, and then you can hold on with the right foot as well. Just lift it off the leg, little rock side to side here. And then with the left hand, pulling the knee back and to the side. And then maybe lengthen it out in front, keep the knee bent a little bit here. Good, release. Okay, so a little twisting. We're gonna take the left hand to the back of the chair, right hand's on the knee, back of the outside of the left knee. So take your inhale, long spine, on the exhale, twist over that left shoulder. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, nice and slow, come back to center to the other side. So left hand's outside the right knee, right hand's on the chair, take that inhale, long spine, exhale, twist. 
in nice and slow back to center. So we're going to take the feet wide here and come into a forward fold inside the legs. So you might want blocks under the hands if the hands are dangling in space. You can always keep the hands on the legs as you forward fold. Maybe hold on to the ankles and just let the head go. Deep, slow inhale through the nose. Deep, slow exhale through the nose. So from here, we're going to push off the floor, come all the way back up to sit. So again, we're going to take the left ankle over that right knee. And this time, we're going to come into a deeper twist. So from here, we're going to take the outside of the forearm to the bottom of the foot. And then right hand comes to the back of the chair. You can even take it to the, the seat of the chair. You can even have your hand on your hip if the twist is too deep. So what you're going to do is take that inhale long spine, exhale, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Look over that right shoulder. So you're using the forearm of that left hand to help deepen that twist. If you want an even deeper twist, maybe you take the back of the tricep, the tricep itself, back of the arm to the, to the foot. Palms together, deepen that twist. Good, nice and slow coming out. So from here, we're gonna take that left foot all the way out to the side. On the back of the heel, toes are up. So you still have your right leg forward and you're gonna come into a forward fold here. Keep the toes of the left foot facing the ceiling. Maybe the hands come to the floor, maybe not. Just getting that little stretch in the back of that left leg. Good, nice and slow, walk it back up. Bring that left leg in back to your seated. We'll try that on the other side. So left knee pulls in, left ankle over top the right knee, or right ankle over top the left knee. So same thing here, you're gonna take the back of the forearm, right arm to the bottom of that right foot, and then the left hand goes where it can. So either hands to the hip, or you can hold on to the back of the chair. So take that inhale, long spine, exhale, twist, 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 twist. So again, you can stay here if you want the deeper twist, take the tricep of the right arm to the back of the right foot, palms together. Look over that left shoulder. Big twist, big stretch in that right hip. Good, nice and slow, come back up to sit. So take the right leg out to the side this time. So the heels on the floor, toes facing up, left leg is still forward. And then just coming into that forward fold, into the uh, hands to the floor. So the arm, left arm's inside the left leg. And then just let the head go. Deep, slow inhale through the nose. Deep, slow exhale through the nose. Nice and slow, rolling all the way back up. Right leg comes back to the center. So this time we're gonna come away from the, the back of the chair. So coming to the edge of the chair. So we're gonna lift the heels off the floor. Take an inhale, lengthen your arms up to the ceiling. Right hand comes around the left wrist. So lengthen the spine here and on the exhale, we're gonna hinge over to the right. As we hinge over to the right, we're gonna see if we can lift our left leg straight out. So lift it up just as high as the hip. Good, release the foot, release the, the arms to your sides. Keep the heels lifted this whole time. So again, inhale, arms up, left hand around the right wrist this time. Exhale, hinge over to the left side. This time, lengthen your right leg straight out. Lift it up, hover it just as high as the hip. Bend the knee, release the foot, release the arms, release the heels, little shoulder rolls here. Take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, press the palms together, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take an inhale, puff the chest up, look up. Good, exhale, release. <coughs> so this time we're gonna come up to stand. We're gonna take it to the back of the chair. So from here, we're gonna hold on to the back of the chair, walk your feet back, Till your arms are long and the hips shift back. So we're in our down dog here. Take a deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we're going to stand up, but we're in a diagonal line here. 
right foot comes as far forward as you can into a deep lunge and then sink low, bend the back knee. So you're holding on to the back of the chair in this lunge. Back heel is lifted. Take a deep inhale through the nose. If you're comfortable, you can take maybe one arm up to the ceiling or maybe both. The chair is always there for your balance. Take a deep inhale here. On the exhale, take the hands back to the chair. You're just gonna lengthen both legs. So get that stretch in the back of the back of the legs. Good. Bend the knees again. Arms up. Take your inhale. Exhale, hands to the back of the chair. Lengthen both legs. Good. Bend the knees. Arms up. Take your inhale. Exhale, hands to the chair, lengthen the legs. Good, bending into both knees, we'll take that right foot back to meet the left, find your down dog here. So hips move back, arms are lengthening as you hold on to the back of the chair. From here, shift into your left foot, see if you can lift your right leg up behind you for three-legged dog. So opening up the hip, bend the knee. Lengthen that right leg here. Little circles with that leg. So the whole leg is long, just little circles. Okay, from here, square the hips to face the floor. Lift that right leg up as high as you can. And then dip the chest past the arms if you can. So the head's past the arms. Good, bend into both knees. Drop your right foot next to the left. Come up to stand, walk towards the chair, relax the arms, shake it out if your wrists are getting a little sore. Okay, so we'll try the other side. So walk the feet back out, hold on to the back of the chair. Find your down dog. On the inhale, you're gonna come up to stand. Take your left foot far forward. Find the lunge on this side. So bend into both knees, lengthen the spine. Take your arms up if you'd like. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, hands to the chair, lengthen both legs. Maybe the back heel touches, maybe not. Just want you to get a stretch in the back of the legs. Good, inhale, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, hands to the chair, lengthen the legs. A little bit of a forward fold here, or a lot if you'd like. Inhale, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, hands to the chair, lengthen the legs. Good, one more. Inhale, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, hands to the chair, lengthen the legs. Drop the back heel if you can. Good, so bending into the knees, take that left foot back to meet the right for down dog. From here, shift into your right foot, left leg lifts up behind. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And then lengthen out that left leg. Little circles, 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 circles. The whole leg is long, so it's not just the ankle, it's the whole leg. Use the chair for balance, squeeze the belly in. Good, square the hips to face the floor. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Release both feet to the floor, find your down dog. Okay, inhale, let's roll up to stand. Walk towards the chair, relax the arms, shake the wrists. Okay, from here, hands are on the back of the chair. Walk the feet back. Find your forward fold and your down dog here. So put a big bend in the knees. Shift into your right foot. We're gonna pull the left knee into the chest. So find a balance here. You're still forward folding. Take a deep inhale through the nose. As you exhale, we're gonna come up to stand. Pull that knee in. So you might wanna come a little closer to the chair if you're too far away. So from here, start to bend into that right knee, lowering all the way down until that left foot touches the floor. Come up to stand. Okay, so shift the hips back, shift into your left foot, bend your knees a lot. So this is your starting position. Pull the right knee into the chest, stay low. From here, inhale, come up to stand, pull that right knee up with you. We're gonna come back down the way we came in. 
So bend that left knee, starts to slowly lower the hips, slowly lower, lower, but keep that right knee pulled in the whole time. And as you get really low, then the right foot touches the floor. Come up to stand. Okay, here we go. Forward fold into that down dog, bend your knees a ton, shift into your right foot. Left knee pulls into the chest. From here, come up to stand, pull left knee up with you. Bend your right knee, come all the way down. Keep left knee pulling and pulling and pulling in as you slowly lower that left foot all the way down. Come up to stand. Forward fold, bend your knees a ton, shift into the left foot, right knee pulls up into the chest. Nice and slow, come up to stand, pull the right knee with you. Bend that left knee slowly coming all the way down. It's kind of like you're lowering yourself into an elevator. Right foot comes to the floor, come up to stand. Relax the arms away from the chair, shake out the wrists. Okay, so this time we're going to take the feet as wide as your mat. Walk your feet back a little bit here. So hands around the back of the chair, shift the hips back, forward fold here into a wide down dog. <coughs> so take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, bend the knees. Come all the way up to stand and we're going to bend the elbows into a little chaturanga. So the heels lift off the floor, elbows squeeze into the body, you're going to push back up to kind of like a high plank, and then sit the hips back, heels drop to the floor, lengthen the arms, so the head drops between the arms, lengthen the legs, take a deep inhale, let's come all the way up to stand, lift the heels, bend the elbows, lower the body towards the back of the chair, squeeze the elbows in towards the body, pressing away. Lower the heels, come back into that forward fold. Feet wide, hips shifting back. Inhale, come all the way up. Lift the heels high, bending at the elbows. Lower towards the chair. Pushing away one more time. Lowering down into that down dog. Coming all the way up to stand, lift the heels. Bending the elbows, come towards the chair. Push it away. Good. Drop the heels. Walk the feet forward. Release the arms away from the chair. Shake out the wrists. Okay, so let's come to the chair facing the, the front again. So we're going to have a seat in the chair. <sighs> okay, so from here, we're going to take that right foot out to the side. So the right knee and the right foot are facing to the side, if you can. Hopefully you don't have arms. If you have arms, just come to the, uh, the edge of the seat. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to attempt a split. So we're going to face the corner of the chair as best you can. And then you're going to lengthen both legs. So you can push the hands into the chair and lift the legs. Lift the legs. Lift the legs. So it's a little lower and a lift. Lift, lift, good. Bend the knees, release the feet. Take your right leg back to center. Take your left leg out to the side. So same thing here, we're gonna face the corner of the chair, lengthen both legs. So see if this time you can have the hands on the hips and lengthen, and lift the legs without pushing, using the hands to pull the legs up. So see if you can lift the legs up without using the hands. Good, bend the knees, release. Take both legs back to center. Lengthen both legs here. So hands are on the hips, long spine, legs are long, and you're squeezing the legs as you lift them up, toes facing the ceiling. If you want a little extra, you can take the hands, <clears throat> arms overhead. From here, we're gonna take a deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, bend the left knee, drop the left foot to the floor. We're going to take our right hand, see if we can tap the right toes, and bring your right arm back up. We're gonna switch. So right foot to the floor, left leg lengthens up, left toes are tapped with the left hand. Come back up with the left arm, left foot drops, right leg lengthens, tap your right toes. Right arm back up, bend the right knee, release the right foot. Left leg lengthens, tap your left toes. Keep switching. Right toes tap, left toes tap. 
right toes tap, left toes tap. So the more flexible the back of the legs keep going, you might be able to not forward fold as much, but think about bringing your foot to you instead of the top of the torso coming down. So keep going. You might notice that your leg maybe lifts a little higher, so much so that it comes off the chair completely. Maybe, maybe not. Keep going. This time, we're gonna alternate. So what we're gonna do, next time your left leg is up, you're going to take your right hand to tap your left toes, come back up. Right leg, left fingertips tap, right toes. Come back up, so switch, alternating the kick. So maybe, same thing, find your rhythm, make sure you're breathing, and then see if maybe the leg lifts up so high it comes off the chair, and then you can keep your spine long, squeezing the belly in, as the foot comes up. Ooh, and there's a little bit of a twist here too. Good, five, four, three, two, one, release, shake it out. Oh, excellent. All right. <clears throat> so let's sit at the back of the chair. And sitting up still tall, so you're not leaning on the back, but your seat is comfortable. So from here, just relax the hands in the lap. Take a deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, let's close the eyes. Deep, slow inhale through the nose. Deep, slow exhale through the nose. So finding your breath rhythm here. So we're gonna come back to our so hum meditation. So what you'll do is take an inhale silently or out loud, repeating the word so, S-O. As you exhale all the air out, silently or loud, repeating the word hum, H-U-M. So inhaling, so, exhaling, hum. This is just the sound of the body as it inhales and exhales. So taking that inhale, filling up, so, exhaling all the air out through the nose, hum. Inhaling, so, exhaling, hum. So continuing the breath and the mantra, Letting the shoulders relax as you do so. Keeping the spine tall. you notice the mind wandering to another thought, just bring it back to the breath and the mantra without any judgments. Deep, slow inhale through the nose. On the exhale, without opening your eyes, just lean back in the chair comfortably. So letting everything settle. If you can even rest the head, that would be ideal. So keeping the eyes closed, settling back into the chair, feeling heavy in the seat, feet flat to the floor, feeling them relaxing heavily into the floor as well. So 
So giving yourself this time for an appreciation of whatever your yoga practice looks like today. Appreciating what the body is able to do. And maybe more importantly, appreciating this time you took for yourself today for a little me time, a little stretch, a little wind down, maybe a slow wake up. Deep, slow inhale through the nose, deep, slow exhale through the nose. So lifting the spine just slightly away from the chair, we're going to seal the practice with one ohm on the exhale. So take that deep inhale through the nose. Bringing the palms together, thumbs to the heart, deep peace from the grounded earth to you. Deep peace from the rolling waves to you. Deep peace from the moon and stars to you. Deep peace to you. May the light in me bow to the light in you. Namaste. Hmm. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you have an enjoyable day and I'll see you again next time. Have a good one.